Hi, this is Ellen from homeschoolinghighway.com and I just wanted to uh, show you today a review that I am going to be doing uh, for the Ultimate Pre-K through 12 membership site of schoolhouseteachers.com. This is a very exciting time. Um, this will be my first real in-depth review with the Homeschool Review Crew, and so I'm anxious to get started. So this unboxing um, video will show you a few things that are on their homepage and a couple things that um, I've already seen as I've looked through quickly uh, their site and also the questions that I am interested in looking at um, in the next uh, few days so that I can um, do a uh, midway review and give you a little bit more information about it. So um, here we go. Okay, here is uh, what you'll see when you go to schoolhouseteachers.com. A very interesting and colorful um, homepage above the fold. And um, just to reiterate, this is a membership site to schoolhouseteachers.com uh, for pre-K to 12 courses and classes. Um, I did receive this product free. They are not paying me for my review in any way. And I am part of the homeschool review crew uh, doing this review for them. As you scroll down through the schoolhouseteachers.com homepage, you see this colorful um, and interesting um, section of all the courses uh, course subjects that they have, and um, I was pretty impressed with how thorough um, their list was of different subjects, and then you click on those and you get a breakdown um, by grade uh, what courses they have to offer, so I'll be interested to see uh, what kind of drama and speech things they may have and what kind of high school electives they may have, so um, I'll be looking into that more. Now, the features section of their homepage, um, I thought is very good too. Uh, you pay one price. You decide. There's options. And then once you pay your membership fee, uh, there is no limits on your the amount of classes that you take. You pay one membership fee, and it's for your entire family, not just one student, which I think is really, really nice of them. Um, they will do report cards um, for you, apparently. Um, they do tell you what to teach and when. You go at your own speed. There's a lot, apparently, of um, uh, parent helps and things around the home. You get their um, magazine uh, mailed quarterly when you sign up for that. So um, it really looks like it has a lot of nice features that um, I'll be interested to look into more. Um Here's some extra things they had uh, for helps and tips and things. They have special member benefits, which I really thought was interesting. You get ebooks, you get uh, a really good planner that is free to download. It's hundreds and hundreds of pages, um, but help will help you with finances, menus, um, scheduling your school, helping you plan your vacation, things like that. Um, so I'm anxious to um, actually download that and look at that better. Um, I do like the idea that they do career exploration and college guidance for um, high schoolers. They have um, videos to watch. They have the learning centers for if your child needs just a little bit of extra help in an area. So um, those different kind of things, they look really good too. Now they have what's called school boxes. And um, I would describe a school box apparently as... Um, if you have a kindergartner and you say, I just want to do a, kin a year of kindergarten, you go ahead and pick whatever classes that, um, that you have for the kindergarten age group. And um, it's just like a one click and you go kind of thing. You don't have to be looking around searching for the courses that you want. But apparently you can switch different classes from school box to school box. So um, I want to see how difficult that is to do. Um, and I also want to see how much um, of the time that it takes for parents to um, sit there. Um, is it pretty self-explanatory? Do they give good directions for the child that might be sitting there alone on where to click, what to do next, that kind of thing. 
They have preschool courses, and I want to see how child-friendly these um, preschool courses are. Um, can the parent leave that child alone? Is there enough um, audio guidance and uh, maybe things highlighted on the screen that the child will know what to press on next? And um, how engaging or interactive um, are they for preschoolers? The elementary age group, I really like to look at um, how well the foundations are laid out for reading, writing, and math. I feel like at this age group, if they don't get those foundational steps, they're going to be lost. Um, and school is just not going to be fun. Also, I want to see about their computer um, classes. Are there elementary age classes um, for computer literacy? Because um, they obviously are going to have to know it. Middle school classes. Um, I'd like to see, particularly maybe in the uh, writing uh, classes, uh, how the transition goes from just writing simple sentences and paragraphs, as, paragraphs and book reports to more of the high school level uh, research papers and that kind of thing. So I would like to see um, how well the transition goes. And of course, I think middle schoolers still like to have fun. So I'd like to see how engaging and fun and interesting, uh, maybe different timed speed drills or um, competitive things. Um, I'd like to just see what's out there for the middle school age group. High school courses. Um, Schoolhouse teachers says that they tell you what kind of a credit your high schooler will get for doing a course. And I would like to just make sure that um, if you are going to get a one credit for this course, I want to make sure that that course is in-depth enough. Um, so as a homeschool reviewer um, for different parents that our umbrella group um, has, I like to make sure that high school classes are actually high school classes. So uh, that's one of my pet peeves. So I'll be looking at that. And then um, for the tough subjects like pre-calculus and stuff, um, how much I would like to see how much um, help they give parents um, through those tough subjects. Um, how is checking work and grading done for those tough classes, uh, does the parent need to know pre-calculus in order for their child to take the class? So that's kind of what I'll be looking for with high school. The parent helps. Um, customer support is a big thing uh, for me. I like to be able to get somebody quickly on the phone, um, be able to understand what they're saying and um, how is that support person um how is their attitude? Are they friendly? Um, are they a good help? Are they willing to go beyond um, my phone call maybe to go search out extra help if need be? Um, so I want to look at their customer support closely. And um, I want to look at that planner closely. I want to look at the menus um, closely, the report cards, and see just how detailed those things are. High school transcripts are available also for a high schooler. Um, so I just want to see those kind of things, those little extras, uh, see how well they're put together, that kind of thing. So I would like to let you know that I will be posting a what is called midway review post in approximately 12 days. I'll get started on my questions and looking through those courses, and then I will be letting you know what I find out. So please uh, subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss that Midway Review post coming up in a few days. And if you want to follow schoolhouseteachers.com on their social media platforms, here is a list of everywhere they are um, that I know of. And so go ahead and um, you can click on those links if you would like to, and it'll take you right there. If you have any questions um, that you think of that you'd like me to look into, then just let me know on in the comment section below. So um, that's it for now. Um, and I will be talking to you again soon in a few days.